Hi, I'm Daniel from B&H, and today I want to talk about on-camera LED lights for HDSLRs. On-camera lights are a key component for video journalists, videographers shooting special events, or people just looking to brighten up their home videos. With the advent of HDSLR filmmaking, it's become even more crucial for a camera light to be extremely lightweight, unobtrusive, and very portable. Because these lights are camera mounted, it's important that they not weigh you down while you're shooting. LED lights are also cool to the touch and extremely energy efficient. The Kelvin scale is used to measure a light's color temperature. Now when you talk about Kelvin temperature in a film context, you always hear two numbers, 3200 and 5600 degrees Kelvin. To put it simply, 5600K is the color of daylight, a cool bluish white, and 3200K is the color of tungsten lighting, a warmer orangish white that you'll find indoors. Now when out shooting in the field, you're going to encounter lots of mixed lighting temperatures, but most of these lights will come equipped with filters to match the lighting of your shooting environment as well as some diffusion to soften your light source. Here are some key features you'll find on almost all of these on-camera LED lights. The lights will run on double A's or rechargeable built-in batteries in lieu of cumbersome power packs or battery belts. This way, when you're shooting in the field or at events, you can move around much more freely. Plus, with most of the lights that we're checking out today, you can swap out the batteries with spares found at almost any store. Another feature to look for is a light equipped with a dimmer so you can adjust the light's intensity and not overexpose your subject. All of these lights feature a quarter 20 tripod thread so you can throw the LED light on a stand and use it as a hair light for an interview or as a fill light in those harder to reach spots when you're on set. Now that I've talked about LED lights in general, let's take a closer look at some of these lights I have here. This is the SEMA SL20LX. The SL20LX has the honor of being the most affordable and smallest light in our group. It includes a bracket for mounting the light if your camera doesn't feature a hot shoe or if it's being occupied by something like a microphone. Boasting a supplied rechargeable non-replaceable battery, the light will give you around 45 minutes to an hour per charge. The SL20LX also features a modular design so you can stack lights up for a stronger and brighter light fixture. Next up is the Rotolite RL48A ring light. The Rotolite is a 48 watt equivalent fixture and color balanced to 6900K or what is called indirect daylight. While the Rotolite doesn't have a built-in dimmer, the extra color and neutral density filters are cleverly stored in the back for easy changes in color and light control. Rotolite also sells a number of pre-cut Lee filter kits to get more creative color options. The rear compartment also stores the unit's three AA batteries that will give you up to four hours of use. The Rotolite is designed in such a way to easily fit around shotgun mics on video cameras. To make it fit on an HDSLR shoe mount, you need to purchase a separate Rotolite stand, so make sure to budget for it when you're considering this light. Once you have that set up, it makes for a very nice, even light source. Here we have the Best Core LED 60X, which features two large LEDs and an equivalent of 60 watts of light output. The LED 60X is powered by four AA batteries and will last for over three hours or you can purchase an AC power supply if you want to remain stationary. Color balanced to 7000K, the dimmable LED 60X comes packaged with two filters to modify your light, a frosted 5500K for diffusion and 4300K for warmer diffused tones. This is the Light Panel Micro. It's approximately a 25 watt light fixture that comes 5600K daylight balance with a variety of filters that conveniently store on the back of the light. The Light Panel Micro is dimmable comes with a sturdy removable ball head shoe mount and is powered by four AA batteries. Regular batteries will last you about one and a half hours and with Energizer E2 lithium ion batteries you can get up to eight hours of use. You also have the option to purchase a DV battery plate for the micro so you can power the camera with popular camcorder batteries and extend your lights usage. Last up is a robustly designed powerful light with a metal casing, the Switchtronics TL50. An internal rechargeable battery will last up to three hours and can be replaced if needed. The TL50 is a dimmable 5600K daylight balanced fixture and outputs a 50 watt equivalent light using 50 bright LEDs. To modify your light source, the TL50 comes bundled with three filters, a CTO to convert your light to tungsten, frosted to soften and diffuse your light, and a clear cover to protect the light's face. In addition, B&H has put together a kit that will include a mount so you can attach the TL50 to your HDSLR. If you'll be using these LED lights for HDSLR video shooting, a good accessory to consider would be a Y bracket so you can mount both a microphone and the light at the same time on your camera. This will work with any of the lights I've shown you here today and will shrink your camera's overall footprint. 
All these LED lights have different specialties and unique features that make them shine in certain areas. If price is your guiding factor and you're looking for something simple, the SEMA is the way to go. If you're doing event coverage and you need something bright, I'd suggest the Switchtronics and the Bescore because of the sheer amount of light they provide. For ENG or interview use, where you need refined control over the light out of the box, I'd suggest either the light panel or the roto light. Hopefully this has informed you a little bit about LED lights and which one would be the right one for you. For more information about on-camera LED lighting, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. Thanks for watching.